Hello, welcome back to the Extra Class on Sports tonight. The post-match, post-mortem, it's finished two all in the championship in England between Brighton, Hove Albion, Leeds United, an entertaining game on the south coast. We can't quite claim the uh, same tonight, but perhaps a significant one. Lech Poznan up to third in the table, just a point behind Legia Varsava, the leaders who do, of course, have a game in hand. Robert Boischak and Chris Graham here to discuss and debrief after that. Let's start with Lech Poznan then and going up to near the summit, do we believe them as title contenders yet? Because 20 points a third of the way through the season, that equates to 60, and 56 points won the title last season. There you go, you know, you did the maths, so you know, <laughs> oh, yeah, you, it, would indicate, it would indicate that they still have chance. I have to admit, what I enjoy in terms of watching Lech, like, there's not many things I enjoy watching Lech, like, but one thing is definitely their efficiency, so the way how they gather points. With, with with some really some sort of lazy performances because I didn't see them sweat that much. I didn't see them going all forward they, trying they, to they grind. They grind and they get results. To that Six goals conceded out of ten absolutely. games. It was very similar to the Buhasov game back in week three. Very similar. To the, there's a Wembley game two weeks ago. Yeah, the third one like Playing win, very yeah. well, but winning one 0 getting the job done, and hats off to that. Well, the question is where the goals come from. It came from a likely source tonight. A 19 year old midfielder, Shimon Drevniak, and of course it came from a big mistake for the, the left back, the not so great Dane. Uh, well, Fredrickson, who gives the ball away there. I mean, Fredrickson, when, since, he, since he came off the bench, uh, I have to admit he was, he was all over the place. He was really poor. Yeah, and th did that Glavaski injury cost Wiesel Krakow big tonight? Dearly, I think. I don't think they would make the same mistake um, if Bunaza was playing on the left back, and then you know if Glavaski was still in the midfield, uh, in the in, sorry, in the middle of the of the defense. Parek is a little bit slow off his line. I mean, to be fair, it wasn't his worst night. We've seen him have <laughs> a few howlers this season, but um, it may be a little bit slow off the off the line uh, to close it down. Perhaps, but you know, they only had I think maybe one, perhaps two decent chances for mm. like so they took whatever they did. Uh, they they ten they took and that's it. Three points. Now, Vizwa came on strong in the second half in terms of attempts on goal. Uh, by the way, Lech Poznan two shots on target the whole game. So it's all <laughs> Vizwa for, for large portions, 64% of the possession. Melikson with the best opportunity, the Israeli international in the uh, the first half. And you wonder if they got that, whether they'd be able yeah. to turn the game around second. Yeah, uh, it's just a, a great opportunity. And they, they, they are pretty in, in, in patches, aren't they, Vizwa? Yeah, yeah I, thought they were, I thought they were much improved in the second half. The tempo really improved. and. Again, similar to the Lega game four weeks ago, they, they played with a lot of heart, but ultimately come away with nothing. Want to see more from this guy, Melikson, Robert? Because he's got a, he's an international player. He has so much more potential, doesn't he? A lovely player. I mean, I think Celtic were after him. I Celtic were after him. That. They actually gave the bid. Uh, Viswa didn't take it. I think you know Viswa have so much more potential than actually the points in the league table might suggest. It's just about utilizing that. It's about playing a different game, not only trying to make. Yeah. A passes through the pitch because when they play against stubborn defence like Lech Poznan, they're not going to break them. We've seen a few uh, kind of howlers in terms of goalkeeping, but I tell you what, Yasmin Boric in goal four, um, Lech Poznan may well be a main reason for their title chances uh, this season. I tell you what, two saves in quick succession. The first one from Vilk rattling the underside of the crossbar. At this point, it looked like Viswa were. You know, really pushing on for a, for an equalizer. And the this odds is eight, were 80 amazing. Minute. Yeah. Mm -hmm. At the time, we're, we're I mean, if the players, the if these were players knew about the odds, I'm sure they would <laughs> convert <laughs> on these chances because, you know, on 14 to one to win it. Well, Genkov off the bench is involved, and then it falls falls to Vilk, and in, we thought it was That's a miss, didn't we? But it looks I mean, like he got the keeper got a save on it there. Shikorsky, Left hand. Shikorsky took the ball down, and uh, it was great to see Vilk going forward with all the positive thinking that he may actually do it. Um, a very frustrating. It's always yeah. the best way to score a goal off the crossbar and in, but even more frustrating when it goes out. It would. I mean, it would look amazing if actually <laughs> what it should done it. He was so close and he was so unlucky at the same time. And then the man who scored two goals last Friday night against Vincent Wiesel, which we thought might rekindle and spark um, Vizwa's season, had an opportunity. Bogolski off the, from the edge of the box, a sharp shot, but an even sharper save, Super diving to his right, shot, using his right hand. Now the keeper. Probably one of the best saves of the season the best, so far. Yeah, yeah. How can he reach it that far in the first place? It's a resulting <laughs> corner, isn't it? I mean, it's, it's well, it's well adjusted to take the shot, really. It's oh, a well. It's, he fantastic. precisely knew when he wants to put the ball in. Um, just a wonderful, wonderful save. Uh, goalkeeper on the full stretch, and he made it. So thoughts on Lech Poznan from the betting perspective? You've been with Legia Warsaw, but they lead by one yeah, point. They had the game in hand, of course, this weekend. Well, against Lechia Gdansk, not a not an easy trip that. So where do you see the title race? Well, obviously I'm st I was sticking with, with, with Legia, but you know I have to. I just have to give Lech some respect tonight. You know, again they're grinders. They get the job done. They're short at seven uh, five to two for the title. You know, 
Well, what, also, what about, what about Marish Rumek? Because we don't know much about his, his career before the Jagiellonia coach. Does he, is he overly defensive? I know he's got great attacking options, but tonight to bring off Brzezinski, he almost seemed to bring a lot of pressure onto Lech Poznan towards but the end. They the brought same, a defender on for a striker. I mean, at the same time, we can also say that he's really pragmatic. Yeah. So he knew that for them, just to defend, if they defend as they do throughout the season, they will be safe, and they were safe. I think they actually they didn't allow Wiesla to create that many chances, despite the overwhelming possession and all these shots mm -hmm. from distance. Um, keep in mind, they played without the top striker in Slusarski, they played without uh, Lovrenčić, the Hungarian winger who creates plenty of chances. So I think in that terms, from the pragmatic perspective, they took the most of, of they, they could and they just did it perfectly well.